Developmental trauma is a term that focuses on the full catastrophe of childhood trauma. It, it, inten it, tends to, it intends to differentiate developmental trauma, trauma that children suffer from abuse and neglect, uh, in their, usually in their own homes, uh, from PTSD or more single event trauma. So until, and still really now, because this has not been an accepted diagnosis, it's more a description. Children are impacted differently than somebody who has been in a car crash. Uh, so when there is uh, significant neglect or um, uh, physical or sexual abuse, the, the alignment that's required between parent and child for optimal brain development, not just character development, for optimal brain development uh, isn't there. And what we see then is what we see learning difficulties, behavioral problems, relational problems. These kids and the adults they become can't relate, sometimes become antisocial as adults can look, uh, can be diagnosed with borderline personality disorder or antisocial uh, anti personality disorder. So there are, the consequences of this are huge and it is also affecting one in four children. So 25% of the population in the United States is at risk for uh, the ongoing uh, effects of developmental trauma. What happens when that, when there is good enough attachment, is that the child's uh, prefrontal cortex develops. And the prefrontal cortex is vital for the inhibition of the amygdala and the uh, limbic brain. If you don't have pre, uh, op, your prefrontal cortex uh, online, you are going to be driven by these limbic emotions. That leads to a lot of problems in living life. Well, we find out that that relationship between mother and child or parent and child, if the mother is impaired in some way, the father can step in or grandparents can step in to help this development along. That that um, uh, allows us uh, to inhibit those emotions and to um, become regulated pro-social human beings. <laughs>